Brendan here, doing a little something different. I'm actually streaming on a different channel than the one I usually stream on because I just got done streaming on my other channel but I wanted to go more in depth about a very important topic I just need to check this out really quick here make sure that I am streaming before I start speaking <laughs> okay life so I was playing my uh, you know, game but uh, I thought about something I was like we got one team over here one team over here and I thought hey, you can go back on that stream if you want but uh, I want to talk more in depth about it here now so I'm just thinking to myself, you know, we've got two opposing teams, but we're both fighting for something we believe in, you know? So there's love on both sides. So, you know, we're all fighting for the same thing. We're all fighting for the same thing, you know? And the best thing I can do as a member of my team is to support everyone else. Just completely disregard myself entirely and fight for that one cause that we are all fighting for together. Because there is love in that. Now what we don't want to do is let the guy hiding behind the barrel who's saying, hey, come on over. I want to tell you a secret. And you go over there and he tells you a secret and then you don't know which team you're on anymore. Well, uh you got to dump that rotten apple out of your basket because, uh, you know, he's trying to lead you in the wrong direction. He's trying to get you to turn against your team, you know? Yeah. So both teams need to look out for that uh, one guy that's trying to misdirect everybody into believing in something. He's the guy that's sitting there and he's directing all these scary movies about crocodile and alligators and all sorts of monsters and stuff and he's telling everybody do this and do that through this and through that and and I'm like well if that's how you see it okay I'm not gonna judge you but I recognize it you know I can see you know the evil there you know so if one of the laws are broken I can see that you know but I'm a witness to that you know and when I witness that, I think about the children because, you know, I was a child as well. I'm still a child, so I'm able to identify with that. But here's the thing. Here's the division between that, me, you know, us and them. You know, the younger kids, they really uh, are naive in that. You know, they can go off and play Grand Theft Auto V and they can do all these things in this game and not really understand what any of it is. But still, later, that could lead to something destructive. And that's not good. We don't want that. So, the best thing we can do is guide these children and help them understand that we are all, you know, that we keep communicating that we're all, all in. And if we're all together, we're all spiritually allied with that with that one, then we're good. You know, and that like you know, we are not good, but but we are good in our belief, you know. You know, that we are all team players, that we are all fighting for the same thing, you know. We are all unified in that one belief. And that's what we want. We don't want the secret agent from the government coming over and telling us that so and so and such and such did this and that, and then uh, we're the bad guys, you know? Because we're not the bad guys, you know? We're not the bad guys. So, we're young, we're growing up, 
and we're doing our own things and we're free, right? And all of a sudden society comes along and it's telling us all this stuff, all this mumbo jumbo about this and that and trying to lead us in towards that direction where there is evil. We don't want to go in that direction. You know, we know what's right, you know, the rules have been laid out clear, clear as day. And if we follow those rules, then we're all one. We're all unified as one. But then if so-and-so runs off and does such and such, then there's a little bit of a divide there. There's a little, a little there's a crack in the bridge, so we don't want any cracks in the bridge. You know, They want cracks in the bridge. We don't want cracks in the bridge. So, so if I cross the bridge and I'm walking, you know, minding my own business, and the bridge collapses, you know, while I'm walking with my friends, with my brothers and sisters, we're all walking across the bridge, it collapses, you know. Well then, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> think that there's a foul play at work here, something's going on, and I'm not cool with it, you know. That doesn't sit right with me in my soul. So, the best thing I can do is try and do the best I can to pay attention to those who know what they're talking about and try and encourage those who are all in that same love as me to do the same thing, you know, as they encourage me and we sort of just, you know, project our ideas and our beliefs, which are all the same, onto each other and keep that love going, you know, so that way we all stay in one, you know, that way we all stay together. We got it. We have to be together on this, you know. Uh, the only way the world is going to survive is if we're together, you know. If everybody's divided and, you know, so and so is, you know, doing such and such, like I said, then such and such is going to be, well, he's not going to be doing so well. And uh, then I feel bad for him because, you know, really he didn't even know what he was doing. He was kind of sort of led into whatever his mother told him to do, you know. Because he walked in the room and saw something he shouldn't have seen, or that there were people playing, you know, these little games. And I don't believe in that. I know what I believe in. And if we all believe in that, then what do we have to worry about, you know? I'm already free, you know? But does that mean that gives me the right to do whatever I want? Of course not. Nope. Because there are still those laws put into place to keep civilization stable. So as long as we can identify with that, and we can identify with ourselves. And by identifying with ourselves, we identify with Him. And when we identify with Him, we identify with right. That's what we need. We need to identify with what is right. So, don't be led astray. Follow what you know to be true in your heart. Because we all know. But, you know, you've got the monkey on our back, <laughs> and he's whispering into our ear. Sometimes we just gotta get him off our back, you know. If we can do that, we can push through, you know. But it helps to have other people with you pulling the monkey off your back, because you might have a gorilla on your back, you might even be. It might even be King Kong. You never know. But, you know, I don't want to be King Kong. I don't want to destroy the city. You know, I want to... I want to maintain order with everybody else. You know. Because, uh, in the end, we all know where we go. And that's the most important. And what we do in this life, we'll carry with us all the way until then and then when we get there look up and say
We did good, guys. We did good. But only because he said we did good. Well, <laughs> hopefully this shed a little light on uh, what I believe to be a team effort from those who taught me what it is to be a team player. It's like I said, you know, at the end of the soccer game or the hockey game or the baseball game or the NFL game, you know, everybody says good game, you know, that's good sportsmanship, you know, and that's what we need. At the end of the day, the opposing forces come together as one. Everybody have a nice day.